When we want to pray, let us always consider our neighbors because our attitude can either make them trust in the Lord or send them away from Christ. I have this te testimony to share before I end with us today. You know, there was a time we had a prayer cell somewhere in the neighborhood and this prayer was in one compound and this it happened to be this family that came to this compound while we were already there. And the man of that house has once or twice joined us in the cell in the course of our prayers. And he came this particular day, a friend of mine visited us and he was the one coordinating. A prophecy came out to this man. We call him out for prayers. He refused. In fact, the man rejected our prayer. I spoke to him. We said I should forget about him. I wish you well with the service. He doesn't want to part and pass of the prayer. So he sat after some time he entered his house. The wife was left outside with us. She was cooking at the same time, following us in the course of the prayer. And in the process of time, the Holy Spirit came upon my wife. And she started insisting that we should pray for the wife of this man. We just abandoned prayer. We rejected our prayer. That we should pray for the woman. We should pray for the man's wife. I told her, no, we can't pray for that woman. We cannot call her out, hold her hands, and pray with her. We were very aware that her husband had rejected our prayer. And she kept on insisting that the Spirit is leading us to pray for the woman, for the wife. I said, no, we can't. Just intercede for the family. You can't hold her hand and pray. And so it ended. We didn't pray for the woman. I was calling her forth to hold her hands and pray. But we interceded for her and the family. The following day, my wife had a, a meeting with this man's wife. And in the course of their discussion, the wife of this man told my wife that we shouldn't be angry the way her husband behaved. She, he behaved that way because... They had they hate prophecy because prophecy almost destroyed their home. Prophecy almost destroyed their marriage. That the man of God kept saying that the woman have a spirit husband and that the husband have a spirit wife. And whenever I put up the man in their house, they kept querying that you know and accusing each other for the problems that came through the prophecy, and that almost destroyed their home. So when they recognize that. That prophecy was creating problem in their home. They rejected everything that has to do with prophecy. So, until we come to know why people behave the way they behave, they are behaving towards prayer, towards things that I also will never know.